Hi, my name is Ryan and in this video let's have a look at the WebMaker app, one of the coolest browser extensions that lets you code inside your browser. You can also check it out online at webmakerapp.com slash app. However, we'll have a look at the browser extension. So let me search for it by saying webmaker app. If you want to check out the website, click on the first link. However, we'll have a look at the browser extension. It's taking a bit longer to load, so let's wait for a while. And here we go. This is the WebMaker app browser extension. All you need to do is just add it to your Chrome. In my case, it is showing add it to Chrome because I've already added it to my browser. Once you've added it to your browser, you'll see a icon at the right side of your address bar, right at the top right. All you need to do is simply click on it and the extension is going to open in a brand new tab on your browser. And if you've used CodePen, you might already be familiar with the layout. So here on my left, by default, I have the HTML, CSS and the JavaScript panels and on my right is the live preview area. In case you wish, you can also change the layout by clicking these I icons at the bottom. However, I like the default layout, so I'll click on the first one. If you want, you can also click on this monitor icon right here in order to view the preview in a full screen. So let's go back to our default layout and type in something. Which one? As you can see, uh, the app already has the Emmet extension installed so you don't have to write the entire code from scratch. All you need to do is simply type in the tag and it closes itself on its own. One of the best things about the WebMaker app is you can also use an external library by clicking on the add library button right here at the top and you can choose your library, the JavaScript library or the CSS libraries from the drop down. In my case, I will choose the CSS library for Bootstrap 4. And let's have a look at the demo. I'll add in some code and I'll get back right in a moment. Alright, so in my HTML panel, I have added a development with the class of container and inside this development, there's another development with the class of row. Within this development, we have three paragraphs and I'll give each of this paragraph a Bootstrap class. So for the first paragraph, I'm going to give a class of call SM4. So if you see in the live preview, you can see that the first paragraph has taken up four columns out of 12. So we'll do the same thing for the second and the third paragraph. So I'll say call SM4. And for the third, I'll say the same thing SM4. So as you can see, the three paragraphs are now placed one beside the other and they are in the same row. I also have three buttons at the bottom, so I'll give them the bootstrap classes. For the first, I'll say btn, btn primary. For the second, I'm going to say btn, btn secondary. And for the third, I'm going to say btn, btn success. So as you can see, an external library works well within the WebMaker app. And did I tell you that you can also use the WebMaker app offline? Yes, you can use it even when you're not connected to the internet. So these are some of the benefits we discussed in this video and just play around with this app for a while and you're sure to find a lot more benefits. So if you wish to, make sure to follow the WebMaker app and its developer on Twitter. I've added their links in the description box below. For now, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye.